Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be up against Tiger Like and Electus. And we're going to be with, or we're going to be up against them, and we're going to, I'm going to be with Ceres, yeah, and the map will be Maya Lance for a 2 versus 2 battle. And yes, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming, to, coming out of my channel. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, Tiger Light will be the blue player and Electus will be the Cyan player. And I'll be the yellow. Circe's will be the red player. Alright, let's go. Okay, collecting those containers. So we fast forward by a bit. Okay. And we hit the a, an infantry there in the bush. So we have to try and collect this uh, container right here. Okay, we got that, and uh, as soon as I got it, or the box is actually released. One, two, okay, so five assault, one typhoon, one hammer, and Cerberus. Okay, and I got like three armadillos, sorry. Three armadillos versus two hammers, five heavy assault. And uh, one Cerberus. And now, just now, two Typhoons. Yes, just like that. I mean... It's violence, violence, violence. Alright, well, let's take into account the uh, hero class of Electus. Just so, so you know. Okay. So, blue player also trying to attack us early on with assaults and hammers. Along with the CN player trying to attack me at the start. <clears throat> so, I got here my uh, initial dragonfly along with my some of my riflemen. Okay, so that armadillo. Hammers, assaults. And I just ignored that and went for HQ level 4. Okay, I retreated, waited for the passive of the servers to expire. Okay, acid strike from uh, Circes is actually a very big help here to help soften up those units from the blue player or tiger like. So I managed to have this defended while barely managing to save my power plant. And there you go. Fast forward a bit here as I develop my base. So, I opted out for two Special Vehicle Factory, one Avia Factory, and then, of course, Vehicle Factory. So, I rushed HQ Level 4 in the hopes of obtaining the uh, Leviathan as fast as I can. Spread out the Dragonflies around here to expect any Seraphim attacks to, well, attempt to zone them out. Looking at my partner's base, he's going for a Mole, one Special Vehicle Factory, and so on. He got, like... <clears throat> Seven supply centers as well. A porcupine, two coyotes, a rifleman, and a mole. Wasp. Okay, that that thing will be destroyed. Okay, and as for me, I have uh, hidden infantry across the map here. Like right there, right here, expecting any Seraphim attacks. Alright, additional porcupines here to cover again against any Seraphim. Yeah. Okay, so... We fast forward a bit as I try to get rid of that assault who got rid of my rifleman that is hidden in that zone. However, uh, oh, and by the way, I'm going for a level 2 special vehicle factory. Two level 2 special vehicle factory. Oh, and by the way, we got an assault right here from that Seraphim at the 6 minute mark attacking that vehicle factory. And so, yeah, I mean, three porcupines. Oh, two porcupines rather, and a mole, rifleman, and a wasp trying to chase after that seraphim. It's not even maxed out. Okay. So, yeah. Good scout right there, revealing what this guy have. HQ level 4 and basically going at level 3x facility. Okay. And so that seraphim is back once again. This time, it's gonna go and try to get rid of that 
special vehicle factory that's still under upgrade or just now finished upgrading passive activated and then of course that annoying um, active ability so again once again two porcupines a wasp is trying to get rid of that seraphine mole turrets against seraphine yes very nice and then that seraphim again destroys a factory or a special vehicle factory level three and just escapes yes of course very normal all right meanwhile cn player looking good around here with a solaris already out and i already have this for a defense yes and i also had hawks here if you may have noticed hawks to scout i drove back my uh dragonfly one assault to scout what i have in here and basically he got that super container once again giving him the advantage in terms of overall base development and so on now i got like the leviathan and the wasp additional mammoth chameleon now in production okay so positioning those mammoths here of course the porcupines against the seraphim and then obviously the leviathan again one scout here with the hammer i scouted with the hawk here to see what they have on their bases to see if there are any vertex spamming or whatsoever you may call it meanwhile my partner is under attack by that solaris a zeus and a shield Okay, an attack going on in here, Kabloi. Acid Strike was very solid, Nuclear from the Leviathan destroyed two uh, Zeus deer, and the rest are more squishy. However, let's not forget that the shield actually ran out of, or some of the units were out of the shield protection, for the shield actually retreated faster than those Zeus, since the shield moves faster than... I mean, the, the shield moves faster than the Zeus by default. Meanwhile, here on my end, I actually have this for a base defense, and I actually moved my Leviathan right over here along with the Wasp. I got like four Dragonflies, a Wasp, and a Leviathan. <clears throat> okay, so I checked with the Rifleman to see what this guy is doing. This is definitely a bad place to engage. So... I actually scouted once again to see what they have, if there are any uh, <clears throat> major anti-air defense system on their bases. Apparently there was not. And the moment that assault popped out here, I immediately knew that I had to attack. Otherwise, this attack or surprise attack will fail. Alright, going back to my partner's base, that Seraphim is again going to live once again and see another day. That Cerberus has been destroyed by that wasp. And again, this time around... This guy will absolutely try and shred my base. However, with a very bad micro on those shields as they are leaning forward than even the assaults are. Meanwhile, on my end, I got like the dragonflies attacking this X facility and the moment I attacked it, this CN player actually moves in to try and finish me off. Even with the bad positioning and a good meat grinder set up here. I'm not exactly sure what's going on in their minds. Okay, so again, I had my whole army defend my base and a separate detachment, which is consisting of four dragonflies, a wasp, and a leviathan to finish off this guy. <clears throat> again, in general, this position is absolutely bad for an engagement due to the narrow passages. Okay, moving forward, one of the shield has been destroyed. Solaris' skill is not really active, for it will no longer that be effective because of the spread that I have. Okay? And so, my mammoths are actually targeting the shield, which is already out of energy. There it goes. Down goes the shield. The rest are just squishy mumbo-jumbos. Meanwhile, on my end, I acid strike the X facility as well as the HQ, and I'm going to have to try and get rid of any newly produced typhoons here on my end to pre... To eradicate any forms of anti or effective anti-air defenses yeah and just like that the solaris has been destroyed with the mammoth's help as well as those zeus all that's left are those typhoons now the mole here actually i produced the mole in the sole purpose of well helping out with the defense my partner also repelled the attack from the blue player however this time around this guy right here is so screwed yes 
Now, the reason why I always do this separate detachment is that you can always catch them off guard. In case, you may have noticed, the Typhoons are targeting the Dragonflies first by default instead of the Leviathan. Now, in terms of whichever targets first or whichever will be the first target, it will be the Wasp or the Wasp or at least my Wasp has shorter range than that of the Dragonflies and they both have the same type of armor. Which means that whoever is closer will be targeted by default by either an anti-air tower or the Typhoons if not microed. However, this is not the case if the Typhoons were ordered by the player to attack whichever specific unit that he may want to attack. In that case, it is including the Leviathan. Alright, moving forward. Yeah, so I am just gonna go and smash this guy to pieces. He no longer has an HQ, which means no more whatever stuff shenanigans or typhoons or any anti-air defenses meanwhile on my end i'll have all my units that's left over to protect my base go over and attack this cm player's base trying to finish him off well regardless he won't be able to produce enough anyway to defend against this much without an hq and without an official anti-air spamming uh, mumbo jumbo all right so that concludes this guy's base and now, Blue Player had an engage engagement around here with my partner, and let's see how this goes. Okay, Solaris. Kablooey! Severely damaging those units, I think that's a Solaris Class 6. There you go, Kablooey! Okay, the timing of the Acid Strike was not really good, because the nuke dropped first before the Acid Strike. Meanwhile, on my end, there's absolutely nothing to worry about as the CM player is so done for. So yeah. GG. You know, a single move like that can literally make you win, so be creative with your approach, guys. I mean, yeah, I mean, Solaris or, you know, I mean, Leviathan is not good on his own, but if you put up the Wasp as well as... A few chunks of support, firepower support, like the dragonfly, and of course acting as a meat bag, you can absolutely have the or save the um, wasp or the leviathan from the initial attacks of those typhoons. For the t the dragonflies can absorb the damage majority of the time. So yeah, my partner is gonna get obliterated here. However, I bombed the X facility of this guy since I do have an albatross, and that basically seals the deal, which. Well, yeah, I mean, confess with no hero at this rank, or at least majority of the players, rely too much on their heroes to absolutely win. Without it, it's gonna be nothing. You know, I don't know why. But anyway, if you liked the video, leave a comment down below as to what are your thoughts on this video, subscribe if you're new, and of course, comment down below what are your thoughts, and ring the bell icon. Thank you so much for your time, and have yourself a great day, and good luck with your battles. Bye!